Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Time. I'm so glad you could join us today. Today, our theme is pumpkins. So let's get started. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Sing with me, everybody. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now we're gonna sing one of my favorite pumpkin songs and we're gonna invite Mel in to help us. Come on in, Mel. Everybody hi, say everybody. hi to Mel. Hi, Mel. Ooh. Do you wanna sing a pumpkin song with me? I'm gonna try to sing a pumpkin song Let's with you. Let's do it. Sit down. Okay. We're gonna what song are we singing? We're gonna sing a song called Five Little Pumpkins. So we're gonna get our hand up and these are gonna be our five little pumpkins. So are you ready to sing with me, Mel? Sure. Here we go. All right. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, I don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one says, I'm ready for some fun. Then, Ooh, and the wind and out went, went the, the lightning. lightning. And the five little pumpkins rolled, rolled out, out of sight. sight. Good job, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for our first book? I would love our first book. I'm feeling kind of tired today, though. I'm sorry. Hopefully, this will pep you up. Yay. Let's read. we're going to read today is called We Planted a Pumpkin. This is us. We planted a seed to grow a pumpkin for Halloween. Beneath the earth a root pushed down. The sun shone out. Two leaves shot up. Go seed go! We know you're trying. Each day you're growing. But oh too slow. Too slow 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 to be in time for Halloween. Flowers open. Bugs arrive. Bees and lace wings. Butterflies a lot of butterflies. The flowers died, except for one, and underneath, a small green bump, but it was not a pumpkin yet. Come on, pumpkin, go, go, grow! The bigger, the fatter, the better. Our pumpkin grew and grew and grew. It was big and it was fat, but it was green. Come on, plumpkin, go, go, orange. You can't be green for Halloween. Our pumpkin loved the summer sun. When it didn't rain, we were the rain. Slowly, our pumpkin's color changed. Yay! The green became less, the orange more. Go, go, pumpkin, ripen up. Our pumpkin listened. It was big and it was fat. It was orange. It was ripe, but it was heavy. Pull, pull, pull. We pushed our pumpkin oh so slow and heaved it onto the tabletop. We hollowed it out and carved a face just in time for trick or treating. Shouting Boo. on the night of Halloween. The end. The next story we're going to read is a very good one. It's one of my favorites. Froggy picks a pumpkin. I love Froggy. Froggy is fun. Froggy has a lot of stories, but today he's going to the pumpkin patch. 
Froggy Picks a Pumpkin. At school, Froggy read a poster. Don't forget, trip to the pumpkin patch tomorrow. Pumpkin picking contest. Next morning, Froggy woke up and looked out the window. A beautiful pumpkin moon was setting and colorful leaves were falling. Leaves, leaves, cried Froggy. I want to go out and play in the... Oops, he fell out of bed. Thump. Froggy! called his mother. What? Stop jumping off the bed, dear. Today is your field trip. Oh yeah, cried Froggy. It's time to pick a pumpkin. And he hopped up and got dressed. Zip, zoop, zip, 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 zip. And flopped into the kitchen. Flop, 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 singing. Pumpkins, pumpkins, muffins and pie. Pumpkin faces lighting the sky. He ate his breakfast of cereal and flies. Munch, crunch, munch. And imagined a steaming pumpkin pie. Yum! And a whole line of jack-o'-lanterns outside lighting the night sky. On the school bus, Froggy bounced in his seat. Boing! Boing! <laughs> boing! And led all his friends singing. Pumpkins, pumpkins, muffins and pie. Pumpkin faces lighting the sky. When they got to the pumpkin patch, he jumped off the bus, flop, 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 and sang. I'm going to pick a pumpkin. I'm going to pick a pumpkin. Froggy! Called his teacher, Miss Witherspoon. What? Wait, dear, we're going to have a pumpkin picking contest for the biggest, smallest, prettiest, ugliest, and best all-around pumpkin. Yippee! cried Froggy, and he took off again. Flop, 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 and tripped over a pumpkin, flew through the air, and knocked into another pumpkin. Bonk! Max bounced over three small pumpkins and tried to pick up a huge one. It didn't budge. Ugh! Travis said, step aside, and lifted it up. Matthew zigzagged around Max, Travis, and Froggy and picked up the prettiest pumpkin in the world. It was shiny and perfect and just the right size. Frogalina twirled and danced through the pumpkin patch, then squatted down and said, hello, my sweet, and picked up a very small, very dark orange pumpkin and kissed it. Smooch! Froggy hopped up on a gigantic pumpkin and looked all around like a pirate on the bow of a ship and shouted, Ahoy there! And he leapfrogged over Frogalina. He leapfrogged over Max. He leapfrogged over Matthew. Flop, flop, splat! And fell smack across a really big pumpkin. He stood up and said, This is the one! And he tried to pick it up. He got it up to his knees. Huff! He got it up to his chest, yes! Then he trudged along with his huge pumpkin. Lug, lug, ug, froggy, called Miss Witherspoon. What? You're going the wrong way. Oops, said Froggy and started huffing. Max yelled, last one in is a rotten egg. Everybody else ran with their pumpkins and Travis rolled his big one. Rumble, rumble, rumble. When Froggy finally got there, he was too pooped to pop and tripped and smashed his pumpkin. Smoosh. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Everybody laughed even Miss Witherspoon. Then she said, and now for the winners of the pumpkin picking contest. For biggest, Travis. For smallest, Max. Max lifted his hat and there atop his head was a pumpkin the size of a golf ball. For prettiest, Matthew. And for best, all around, Frogalina. Here is a pie pumpkin. Great for baking, Frogalina said. Hello, my sweet. And kissed it. Smooch. Then Miss Witherspoon said, and for the ugliest, yours, Froggy. What a mess. And everybody cheered. Hip, hip, hooray. Even Froggy. And on the bus ride home, Froggy sang, pumpkins, pumpkins, muffins and pie. Pumpkin faces lighting the sky. And all his friends sang with him. The end. Our next book that we're going to read is called Stumpkin. And Stumpkin is a pumpkin with no stem. Aww. What do you think about that, Mel? It makes me sad. Makes you sad? Let's see what happens to Stumpkin. And this book is by Lucy Ruth 
Cummings. It was a few days before Halloween. Outside a little shop in a big city, a shopkeeper placed some pumpkins on the shelves. A girl came and looked at the pumpkin. When she was done, she picked one up and carried it away. The other pumpkins worried after their friend. But later they spotted him across the street and way up high. He was a jack-o'-lantern. Beneath his lovely stem, he now had two triangle eyes, a nose, and a giant toothy smile. He had a new home, a perch all to himself high above the street. What more could anyone want? thought the pumpkins. They were thrilled for their friend and thrilled that they too might one day be jack-o'-lanterns. They were all happily lost in thought, imagining themselves as jack-o'-lanterns when one pumpkin realized something was very wrong. Poor little pumpkin, poor little stemless pumpkin with just a stump, not a stem. Poor little stumpkin. Still, there was plenty to like about Stumpkin. He was a handsome pumpkin, as orange as a traffic cone. He was as big as a basketball and twice as round. Stem, schmem, who knows? Some people might even prefer a stemless pumpkin. Days passed and more people came. Some pumpkins left, some pumpkins stayed. It wasn't yet Halloween. There were still plenty of windows that needed jack-o'-lanterns. Who would be lucky enough to take home Stumpkin? As orange as an orange? As big as a basketball? Round, he was very nearly the perfect pumpkin. Very nearly, truly. The next day, new people came and the shopkeeper's cat settled on Stumpkin's smooth top. Then it happened. A brilliant baby chose Stumpkin until a bad dog ruined it and the baby changed his mind. Oh well, thought Stumpkin. It was the day of Halloween. There were still a few empty windows. Two were left on the shopkeeper's shelf. A boy came and when the boy left, Stumpkin mm -hmm. remained. The gourd, thought Stumpkin. I guess that's that. Mm -hmm. Poor Stumpkin. It was Halloween night and the shop had closed. There were no more days left. The shopkeeper scooped up poor Stumpkin and carried him off. Hmm. Oh, what do you see now? Triangle. Huh, two triangles. Maybe they're his eyes. Stumpkin wouldn't be getting a window and he wouldn't be getting a new home. He already had a home and that made Stumpkin very very happy. The end. So he got to be the shopkeeper's jack-o'-lantern. Yep. Yep, yep. That's a very good home. I think so. The end. The next story we're going to read is called Pumpkins, Pumpkins Everywhere. Everywhere. And this book is by Smirti Prasadam Halls. Pumpkin Happy. Pumpkin sad, pumpkin kooky, pumpkin mad, pumpkin bounce, pumpkin fly, pumpkin wet, and pumpkin dry, pumpkin spider, pumpkin cat, pumpkin wolf, and pumpkin bat, pumpkin spooky, Ooh. pumpkin spooked, <laughs> pumpkin there, and there, and there, pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. Pumpkin rattle, pumpkin hoot, pumpkin jangle, pumpkin toot, pumpkin boogie to the beat, pumpkin trick and pumpkin treat, pumpkin glowing, pumpkin bright, shining in the starry night, pumpkin brave and not afraid, lighting up the big parade. The next book we're going to read is called, We're Going on a Pumpkin Hunt. Do you want to go on a pumpkin hunt, Mal? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go on a pumpkin hunt. And this book is written by Goldie Hawk and illustrated by Angie Rosalar. Are you ready? I'm going to try my best. Okay. We're going on a pumpkin hunt. We're going to find a big one. What a beautiful night. We're not scared. Cats. Here, Watchful there, green eyed there, cats. Everywhere. Can't go over them. Can't go under them. Can't go around them. Got to go through them. Meow! 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 We're going on a pumpkin hunt. 
fun. We're going to find a big one. What a beautiful night. We're, We're not, not scared. scared. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Cobwebs! Sticky spiders cobwebs. Can't go over them. Can't go under them. Can't go around them. Got to go through them. Eek. Tickle swish. Tickle swish. Tickle swish. Tickle swish. Tickle swish. We're going on a pumpkin hunt. We're going to find a big one. What a beautiful night. We're not scared. Uh-oh. Bats! Flying, flapping bats. Can't go over them. Can't go under them. Can't go around them. No. Got to go through them. Flap, 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 we're going on a pumpkin hunt. We're going to find a big one. What a beautiful night. We're not scared. Uh-oh. A house. An old, dark, spooky house. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Got to go through it. Creaky squeak. Creaky squeak. Creaky squeak. We're going on a pumpkin hunt. We're going to find a big one. What a beautiful night. We're not scared. Oh no. What's that? Oh no! Back to the house. Creaky squeak, creaky squeak, creaky squeak. Back to the bats. Flop, 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 flop. Back through the cobwebs. Tickle swish, tickle swish, tickle swish. Back through the cats. Meow, meow. And all the way back. Wait, what's that? It's a pumpkin! Trick or treat! Yay! Was that fun? It was. We found it. The end. The end. It's time for craft, everybody. So Mel and I are gonna get ready and we are going to make a great pumpkin-themed craft for you today. Here we go. Today, we are gonna make some really cute pumpkins. So we're gonna open up our uh, packaging here. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be very cute. Okay, so we've got some air dry clay and it's orange like a pumpkin. So we're gonna open that. And then. Ooh, it's squishy. It is squishy. Ew. Ew. So we've gotta make it into a pumpkin, so. Oh, do you guys know how to make a circle? So we're gonna squishy. make it round. Oh my God, this is. My it's sensory cool thing like, is weird. Okay, so make it a nice round pumpkin. Good okay. job, huh? And then, okay, we're gonna give him all these green sparklies are your leaves. Oh, it's a pumpkin. And, oh, it gives you a face. So, and some eyes. So you're gonna put your eyes in there. Okay. All right. And your mouth. We've got... Oh, just, my, my pumpkin's a little... It's so weird looking to it. All right, we got that. And they give you a quirk for your... Head. For your stem, or for your top. Okay. And then... Pipe cleaner for your vine. Oh, where's the other eye? Heck. Oh, that's his nose. What the heck? And then... We've got some pretty leaves. Look at that. Yay, Kate. Thank you very much. And you have a pumpkin. Yay. Your very own little pumpkin. Mine looks a little disheveled, but that's okay. Mine right there. Here we go. Okay. All right, I think we're done. Thanks for joining us today. Woohoo! Our, Our story time, time is over, wave goodbye. goodbye. Our story time is over, wave goodbye. Our story time is done. We hope you had lots of fun. Our story time is over, wave goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Next time. We Planted a Pumpkin by Rob Ramston, published by Scallywag Press, copyright 2023. Froggy Picks a Pumpkin by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkowitz, published by Penguin Young Readers Group, copyright 2019. Stumpkin by Lucy Ruth Cummins, published by Simon & Schuster, copyright 2018.
Pumpkins, Pumpkins Everywhere by Samit Tree Bramston Halls, illustrated by Lorena Alvarez, published by Paragon Books, copyright 2015. We're Going on a Pumpkin Hunt by Goldie Hawk, illustrated by Angie Rosalo, published by Nosy Crow, copyright 2021. WCMO Storytime is a production of MCTV.